Okay, so hi guys, welcome to the Karen Chain Show. So tonight we have a very special guest. Um, he's one of my connections on LinkedIn. Uh, please welcome Ben Graham. So hi Ben. <laughs> hi, how are you doing? Very nice. <laughs> I'm really doing good. good. Yeah, welcome to the show and thank you for the time. Uh, no problem. Are here it's with great me. to be here. <laughs> yes, I'm so pleased and I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> glad to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Ben is from the UK and he is a YouTube content creator and he has worked alongside with uh, a lot of creators too, with uh, millions of followers and he has attracted over 10 million views as a content creator. Wow. You should tell me how you did that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, so Ben is also a founder of Video Mako. Am I right? Okay. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is a video editing uh, agency that offers unlimited video editing at an affordable monthly fee. Oh, so you should tell me more about that. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that. sure. <laughs> okay, so Ben, <laughs> can you tell me more about you and how you started as a YouTube content creator? And also tell me more about your business, so your company, yeah. and the services that you offer. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. So I'll start, I'll start from kind of my background. So I mm. kind of came from a kind of uh, econ background, kind of started with like Shopify store, mm. uh, where I connected with content creators on there who promoted my service mm. um, that I had. And essentially, that's how I kind of met with kind of YouTubers. And I kind of became friends with content creators such as YouTubers and mm. uh and i kind of they thought i had the personality to make my own youtube channel and then mm. i i kind of did collaborations with them that uh, kind of set me off on my kind of youtube journey with my kind of uh the videos i did with them and yeah i kind of just got views through them <laughs> essentially wow. at the start wow. so, mm. so i did some of these people i'm not going to name names but i kind of did videos with them that have millions of, of followers wow. on youtube Mm. Uh, some of them and but some of them some of them had engaging audiences you know some of them weren't, weren't that big but they kind of had engaging audiences they passed it on to me and yeah I'd like to think I kind of utilized the audience for a fair, fair, a fair while oh, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah about half of my um about half of my audience kind of came from the whole kind of collaborations but then I kind of built up from collaborating through uh kind of myself like creating mm. content just myself with my just uh sometimes with like i don't know family members or friends but uh sometimes just mostly just myself and kind of mm. using my knowledge and kind of about kind of kind of youtube seo kind of stuff to kind of get my videos seen more you know just simple stuff like the title and thumbnail getting correct because that's kind mm. of the main thing yeah yeah uh, that's kind of the main thing getting to get correct so i kind of learned all about that and kind of grew like doubled my audience through that Ooh. and then i just kind of I kind of burnt out. I wasn't really, I kind of, I kind of didn't enjoy kind of the editing side of things that much. So I kind of, I kind of just evolved into kind of helping other YouTubers that I knew uh, about kind of content creation and how to make their videos better through editing and kind of, um, you know, just my, my expertise on the whole kind of YouTube side of things mm. to kind of take their, take their editing to the next level on their channel and kind of improving engagement and you know that 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 type of stuff and and yeah telling them to focus on the analytics and mm. seeing where people drop off so we know, we know where to improve kind of the editing in the video based mm. off data because the data is actually yeah there's no point just making conclusions without seeing the data because the data is what actually mm. it means something it means something <laughs> yeah yeah, so yeah that, that's kind of that's kind of well evolved so i've kind of run kind of a private editing agency in the last two or three years Mm. And in the past year, I've kind of started this new platform to really optimize kind of the video creatively, which is kind of what Video Maco does. Uh, it kind of optimizes creativity. You know, we're not going to win any awards off the best editing ever, but we're going to, we're really optimizing how mm. you get your videos edited, basically, is kind of the whole goal of Video Maco. Mm. So that, that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm, I'm, I guess, yeah, as I said, evolved into right now. Um, and yeah, I'm just really trying to, build up the platform and really trying to grow our clients also outside of that as well because most of my clients right now are kind of outside of video macro but mm. a lot of them a lot of i'm trying to really push that platform because i think it can really um can really uh, kind of take off basically mm. so yeah that's that's kind of that's kind of it yeah <laughs> cool cool interesting because <laughs> uh yeah so tonight are we going to talk about creating a winning youtube 
marketing strategy, especially for the businesses. So what do you think uh, YouTube marketing is the right solution for the businesses nowadays? Yeah, uh, well, I definitely mm. think it's it's definitely one of the best things you can do focus on within kind of the whole kind of business era because mm. obviously YouTube's YouTube's owned by Google. The actual YouTube search is, I guess, Google, and mm. that's kind of that's kind of um, you can get your video seen easily by just YouTube search alone. Let alone like I don't know if you've seen on the side of videos, it's like recommended videos. Mm. The uh, the side that's also a massive thing where I kind of grew my um, mm. my audience because. My videos were getting pushed into the algorithm. Uh, YouTube sees YouTube sees that, and then you're kind of riding the wave of of the algorithm, if that makes sense. So you're mm. kind of really going along with what YouTube kind of wants you to do. You know, you're creating the videos that are all sorry, you're creating the videos that are already doing well. So why not just follow up on that and make a twist on it? You know, do something that um, something different. Mm. So for example, I there's a company um, called One Football. They kind of have an app where it, it tells you about football scores, the kind of football news, that type of stuff. And they, they you know, they really uh, try and push, they really got like a few YouTube channels in different languages and they mm. really try and push, uh, you know, content out there because obviously the organic reach on YouTube is really high. So mm. they're, they're really trying to push out their kind of football content through YouTube. And, you know, I can think of a million examples you could do for a business that you run. Mm. Um, like in general, I'm talking like, say if you run like a barber shop you cut people's hair for a living and you, you can easily create content about how to cut hair, you know, the different styles of how to mm -hmm. cut hair, you know, that type of stuff. There's all different cover content you could push out there that people want to see on, on, on like as video content, because obviously video content is the most powerful. Yeah. I think YouTube's the second, YouTube uh, is the second most uh, viewed website. And the first one is Google, right? Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah. I, think, I believe, I, I believe, mm. I believe anyway, from what I've seen. So yeah. yeah, it's really, it's important that it's part of your kind of strategy moving forward as, as like a business kind of owner, mm, really. Yeah. And, and yeah, there's, and yeah, you can collaborate. There's so many different things you can do within uh, within kind of YouTube era. And also the monetize, monetization, you can monetize okay. so easily via YouTube compared to other platforms, mm. like platforms such as TikTok. TikTok's good for short term content, but there's no, there's no way to really make money through it compared to mm. YouTube. Um, and I don't see that anyone as being a competitor moving forward in 2021 either. So, yeah. yeah. So YouTube yeah, is yeah. very, yeah, it's much better, right? For mm -hmm. content for creators and also businesses who just want to push content out there, just the organic reach and everything's just, yeah. 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 So also, can you tell me, uh, how does the algorithm works for YouTube? Because I think it's different from other platforms, right? Yeah. So it's kind mm. of all about the watch time percentage. So, um, mm. Before yeah. it was kind of the watch time, uh, where well, it's not just about that, it's about the click through rate as well. So say for example, you have, I don't know, 50,000 subscribers on YouTube and mm. only only like a really small portion are really clicking through on your video in the sub boxes or, you know, in the search when it comes up, um, no one's really clicking through, but they're, they're seeing it, it's like an impression. Mm. So recently YouTube, not, well, I say recently, like about two or three years ago, I think it was, they've added kind of a, a function in the analytics where you can see click through rate. Mm. And um, essentially, you can uh, you can see the kind of ratio between impressions and clicks clicks through to your video. And if that's the higher that is, the more chance YouTube are going to push that into the algorithm. Mm. And and also they're basing it off kind of watch time percentage. So your video could be two minutes long or ten minutes long, but if the percentage is really high, YouTube are going to be more likely to push that video to more people uh, when people are searching for that given term. If that makes sense. Mm. But also on the but also on the side of your or the video as well. So and all it, all it takes is one video to, to really take off as well, to be honest. Like you could have oh. one video getting loads of views and then that could push it to other videos uh, on your channel. And yeah, it's, it's literally, it's literally, yeah, all it takes is one video. That's all I've had. A, that's all I've ever had in my mind, really. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. yeah okay. So uh, can you share some tips on how to begin and grow to make your YouTube channel successful? Yeah, sure. So mm. um, I would say, first of all, you've got to know your audience. First mm. of all, so for example, I'll give you an example myself. When I was posting content, I was mainly doing FIFA videos and like mm. gaming videos for the kind of, I guess, kids uh, or younger people. So they wanted to see me like scream and shout, that type of stuff. And mm. I, I realized that that, I realized that one of the biggest uh, people in my kind of niche or industry was kind of doing the same similar thing. So I was mm. kind of, I don't want to say copying, but I was, you know, <laughs> I mm. was kind of just, uh, I was just kind of 
kind of riding that similar wave and trying to just target the same similar people because I was doing videos with the same per that given person that I'm talking about. So I was kind mm. of, so I knew my kind of audience. Uh, so you've got to know your audience. And uh, secondly, it's mainly about the title and thumbnail. That's literally all it's about in terms of SEO, kind of. Like you don't really even need tags. <laughs> uh, if you mm. get the, if you, well, you do need tags to some extent, but like you don't need to go crazy with it. Like if you get the title and the thumbnail correct, uh and yeah, yeah you're, you're really got you really got kind of you really got consistent consistency mm. going on your channel then i can't see a reason why if there's demand for your content that you wouldn't succeed if you keep consistency you get the title and thumbnail right and there's demand that's kind of i can't see why you wouldn't fail like as long as it's not too competitive which mm. some things are but as long as you have a unique twist on it and mm. you do what's already done you do you do what's already done well that's already that's in trending uh and you make your own twist to it then you're bound to succeed. <laughs> mm. okay. Basically. Yeah. Okay. So um how do you optimize your YouTube videos? So similar to what I said before with the title and thumbnail. So you um so yeah, just make sure you research. There's some t there's some tools out there. I mean, I tend to just kind of use the what the YouTube search kind of um function that's already there. When I was posting on YouTube, I kind of use that. And um and yeah, you can you can just see what other people have kind of put that put as their title and thumbnail. Really take inspiration from other people and just reach out to other creators as well. Ask for mm. ask to collaborate. Ask to collaborate because the more people that have heard your name, you know, more people that come across you, the better. Because um, say if someone uh, sees you in someone else's video and then they see you in the search, they're more likely to click on your video as well because they've seen your uh, seen your name elsewhere. Therefore, your click through rate also increases as well. Which in turn mm. does better. Which in turn does better for the algorithm. You know, it's all sort of win-win with that. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So do you have uh, a content strategy for your YouTube content? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't myself because I didn't actually post anymore. But I'm about to post. Mm. I'm, I'm about to launch kind of a whole kind of uh, thing for my new platform, Video Maco. So um, mm. that'll be that'll be out soon. So hopefully I'll be I'll be taking on board my own tips for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I look forward so for that. <laughs> obviously, right. it's really difficult. Obviously, it's really difficult to do what I'm saying. Obviously, with a bunch of other things, especially as a business owner and content creator, which is why mm. Video Maco is also also good because they can manage the content <laughs> mm, uh, for you, basically, and all that all that stuff. So that that's kind of that's kind of yeah, yeah. So that's that's kind of my issue I've had in the past where I've kind of um, I've either run out of content ideas to some extent, mm. or I've just I've just I've just got too much to do basically in terms of uh, record, not, not just filming, but editing as well as optimizing content, you know, that type of stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, uh, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of it. Yeah. Mm, okay. So um, how do you keep your viewers engaged with your videos? So myself, when I was posting, I would tend to just not be boring. Like I'd speak like, like this, you know, like up and up and engaging, yeah. not like speaking mm. like this, like, yeah, do this, do that. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to really kind of interact with the audience, you know, ask mm. them to comment, ask them to like, ask mm. them to share with your, with their friends, uh, you know, ask them to, I don't know, ask them to make a video, uh, in response to something like that. You know what I mean? Just, just similar stuff to keep them really, um, Mm. engaged and also even that's just filming uh when you're filming but also once the video is out uh i was always replying to comments you know reply to comments uh you know like pin people's comments to your in your comment section mm. that type of stuff just really it's just engage with your audience because they those are the people who actually are viewing your videos <laughs> so mm. you really want to that's re really what you want to do um, yeah. General, yeah and also share it on platforms yourself uh you might have a a massive audience elsewhere or you know audience at all elsewhere like for example linkedin you could post it on there mm. say, check you out subscribe to you um you know when you have a new collection on linkedin you could send them your your uh, channel and ask them to mm. ask them to engage with you basically yeah, <laughs> yeah so there's, there's, there's all different sorts of things you could do uh, even family mm. and friends on facebook your facebook i guess that's the starting point where people who start their channel and they just want to get the first viewers so they just get their family and friends to view it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start, so, start with, so, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, yeah, just being yourself also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would say being yourself, being authentic. Like, if you're mm. not, if you're not, um, you know, if you're not, uh, if people can read right through it, if you're not being yourself, essentially. Mm. Uh, and I've seen countless amount of times where YouTubers are trying to kind of 
I guess, fake their personality, but yeah. you can kind of see it and it comes out in the end. But, mm. yeah. So, so it's just really be much yourself, better. <laughs> yeah, just be yourself. Uh, <laughs> okay, so any tips on how to get more video views and how to make it viral? So it comes back to a point again with the see what's already doing well, see what's already trending, but make mm. it your own. Make it your own completely. Um, so mm. for example, say for example, I don't know, say back when there was a trend on YouTube with kind of uh, fidget spinners, if you remember that. Mm. Uh, and you know you could think of like a unique idea for that um that no one's ever no one's done before and then you know everyone's typing in fidget spinner on youtube people are uh, doing videos with fidget spinners they're getting views so your video will appear on the on the side basically as well and yeah it's just a talking point that's happening right now so why wouldn't you hop on but create it your own with your own personality and your own twist to it um mm. that's kind of a real way of how how to do it essentially as long as you're uh, as long as it's morally correct <laughs> then mm. yeah it's, that it's that's pretty much what i'd say yeah yeah okay so uh you said before that you uh work with uh some content creators and then yeah, uh, yeah i want to ask you how did you do that <laughs> that you get 10 million views <laughs> so yeah uh, can you share some tips? uh sure so um yeah, I would. Well, for me personally, I kind of had it through my old business that I ran. So that's kind of how mm. I knew kind of creators. But if say if you're, I'm going to say, say, for example, you're just kind of, you don't know anyone, basically, is what, mm. I'm, what I'm going to. So I would, it's hard. It's actually really hard to kind of meet people like that um, straight mm. away. So I kind of got f fortunate in a way. But, <laughs> but yeah, mm. I would say that um, I would say just message, but you have to give 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 them something don't like don't like try and take like offer them like give offer them something that you have that they could potentially use basically mm. so what i mean by that is you could uh, i don't know just give them a give them a tip themselves like don't just be like oh can we collaborate because mm. uh, youtube is not going to reply to you if you're just being like okay let's collaborate <laughs> mm. like you have to you have to really go out there and give them something that they want basically to mm. some extent um and yeah in terms of the views uh basically kind of what i touched on before with kind of title and thumbnail like you've got to get that on point um and really do videos that people you know people already want to see but add your own kind of add your own kind of thing to it essentially mm. yeah that's kind of the main kind of the main thing yeah, yeah. Uh, okay okay so okay we're gonna touch about uh monetization <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sure. so you can you share some tips and how to get yeah monetized using your videos? To, mm. um, so obviously right now when I started off anyone could just get monetized uh, for their videos back in like what was it 2014 but recently mm. in the last recently in the last couple of years YouTube have um, YouTube have kind of made you have to get 4,000 watch hours and a thousand mm, yeah. subscribers yeah get, that's yeah that's, that's, the that's, one. that's obvious that's obviously really difficult so you could you could go out there and buy buy a YouTube channel <laughs> with that already, <laughs> but like oh. but that's 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 generally an option. But I I wouldn't do that obviously. <laughs> but I would. Yeah. But um. But yeah, I would um. I would go out there and just really, like I said before, you have to you have to just really grind. If I'm honest, you've got to really go out there and take. You've mm. got to really create. Be consistent. You've got to really be consistent with it. Um. To start off with, if you if you want to even reach that to start making money, but that's not to say that you need. Uh, YouTube view money to make money you might already have yeah. another source you might already have many other sources that are making you money and mm. you just want to you just want to create it for um, kind of the organic reach like for example if you're if you're a business owner and you're I don't know like you're doing something like pretty like kind of specific then mm. you're not really going to be targeting you're not really going to be getting millions of views anyway because mm, you're not sure. you're never going to be a, you're never going to be getting millions of views because there's not that many people interested in it like obviously someone like a youtuber like i don't know pewdiepie you know the biggest youtuber he um mm. he does like entertaining videos like you're never going to be able to get as many views as ent on entertaining on entertainment videos mm. as informational content if that makes yeah. sense like mm. you're never going to be able to because it's just that's just not it's just not like there's just not as much demand basically it's what it comes down to yeah. sorry mm. <laughs> but mm. um but yeah i would say um oh sorry what was your original question <laughs> <laughs> how to get yeah uh, yeah I went off on a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah so i would say you've just got to be really consistent you've got a mm. um you've got a really like uh you've got a really i would say even like not copy youtube but like copy people what they've already done but like you've really got a you've really got to try <laughs> try really hard yeah, to get, yeah. out, get out there there's so much competition especially when you're starting from zero like mm. um right now it's like harder than ever basically but it's yeah. still there's still an opportunity to grow you've just got to be quite quite unique pretty much mm. <laughs> to uh to really push yourself out there um mm, really different organic there's organic ways you can do it as well but again that will take loads of time it will take probably a few months at least to do it so yeah it really yeah, takes yeah. yeah so the key there is really consistency <laughs> consistency for sure mm, yeah you've got true. to be consistent like even even when you're successful you've got to remain mm. somewhat consistent um true you know, otherwise you're just not going to be like YouTube just won't push your like I've heard stories about where YouTube don't push your videos into sub boxes because you're not being consistent basically so YouTube mm. don't think you're don't think you're really relevant anymore <laughs> yeah so that's kind of it's kind of how the algorithms kind of pushed to it but Facebook's even worse like Facebook the oh, yeah. there is ter- terrible terrible like, it's less than it's less than like what five percent yeah <laughs> that's why I'm not on Facebook anymore yeah. because- <laughs> yeah <laughs> i prefer yeah. linkedin or youtube <laughs> yeah. well facebook facebook groups are good but facebook pages are terrible like isn't it there's mm. just basically no there's basically no point in having posting on facebook pages <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay but, yeah. yeah but did you know uh here in the philippines it's, it's quite weird because there's actually um i'm sure an article before that it's there's this yeah. guy uh, <laughs> he's just doing nothing for two hours and he got lots of views like what with four million views already and he, yeah, he did nothing he? he just like staring at the camera for two hours <laughs> there must be That's something just... there's something going on there where he's pushing some sort of thing there like he, yeah like, what was the what was the video he, he just, just yeah you sit down there and you just look at the uh, camera <laughs> and just staring for two hours doing nothing <laughs> and he got 1.4 million views and like how did it do that? I would not. Is he already is he already big on YouTube? Yeah, or... I think he has lots of subscribers and uh, he is oh, um, fine. Oh, yeah. yeah, he is a comedian and I think that is his oh. strategy. So it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> this I've, is really strange. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there's 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 someone that I've seen on YouTube who I don't know if how many subscribers he has exactly, but he goes around the world just licking random things and films it. That's what he does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and he has, yeah, he has a lot of views, right? Yeah, 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 he does. Yeah, you can literally make a channel out of pretty much anything. Like, there's, there's, there's a lot of different things out there, but in terms of just business focused, then mm. I think I think a lot of businesses could benefit off just making a YouTube channel and posting content. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah so. it's just I find it weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely, yeah. It's definitely weird. But uh, mm. it's something that exists, so you can't really stop that. <laughs> yeah, but for yeah. business, it's your business, <laughs> so have to, yeah, yeah. yeah but you can right? still you can still make weird content if you're a business. Like it's, it depends on what you want to be uh, seen as or your audience. You know, um, like some corporate people might find funny stuff mm. you know, you want to watch as well. You know what I mean? Like it just depends. Yeah. True. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you create compelling videos to your channel? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, well, for me, when I was when I was posting on my channel, I kind of, um, I was kind of doing collaboration type videos. Um, mm, okay. Uh, and kind of, I guess, I kind of had their had the other YouTubers kind of name in the title, <laughs> mm. and obviously they they saw that, and they saw I was playing kind of a, a FIFA or gaming match against against that kind of given YouTuber, and I've just kind of getting views through that <laughs> but, mm. but I can't when I was doing it myself I kind of was looking at what well, I guess again it's all about taking inspiration from other people and making it your own really mm. so um I guess, I guess that's kind of what I was I was doing <laughs> so yeah I guess, I guess that that's that's kind of it really <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah. <laughs> all right so for businesses what type of uh marketing videos that we should create or kind of marketing videos is that do you mean just for just for, for the, YouTube or yeah for YouTube only yeah for YouTube, YouTube only um so there's obviously some stuff that you can do where you can I mean you can create YouTube videos for organic reach but you can also post them on your website so for example mm. an explain an explainer video um you could do so explaining your type of 
business uh, service, how it benefits the uh, the, the um, your target audience, you know, your product, mm. how it benefits them, what it kind of does, and that kind of stuff, how it helps them. And yeah, the, the explainer video is kind of uh, one of the main ones, as well as um, sorry, <laughs> yeah, as well yeah. as uh, as well. As, there's, there's all different types of marketing videos you can create. Um, mm. But it literally just depends on kind of what you, your end goal is at the end of the day. Like, um, mm. depends on the kind of what kind of strategy you want to take with your kind of uh, kind of kind of your YouTube channel. Mm. So, um, so yeah. yeah, it literally just depends on your niche entirely. Mm. So I, it's hard for me to give like a general kind of uh, thing unless you're unless you're kind of being specific with um, with kind of what you do. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, what type of videos did you create for your uh, our clients? Yeah. Oh, so so mm. many. They're kind of YouTube content creators. They they are kind of the entertainment kind of niche. If I'm honest, mm. so they're kind of it's kind of all different types of uh, stuff. So it's not just mm. mark, it's kind of not really marketing videos. Like like we we've worked we've worked with quite a lot of people who do kind of how to videos, for example. Mm. Okay. So um, so there's a lot of people who do like teaching people how to do stuff. Obviously, mm. how to. <laughs> so um, how to. Mm. Yeah. So so that's kind of a big kind of area that you want to focus on within kind of. Um, your marketing kind of kind of strategy like how to is kind of a really big kind of mm. thing that you can you can kind of add to your uh kind of titles and um mm. and kind of and kind of strategy that you want to implement for your channel mm. yeah. yeah so it's really about uh, giving value to your audience essentially yep. yeah if you give mm. value like mm. give value and then people will, will come back to you for sure uh, mm. yeah okay so any advice that you can give to those who are just starting out as a youtube content creator so I would say, like I said, be consistent. Um, look into your kind of niche of what you're, what you're kind of focusing on and see what other people are doing. Um, yeah, look at competitors, obviously, see what they're doing. Mm. Kind of make, make it your own. Um, really try and, I, I always try and, well, now I definitely uh, find out what the title and thumbnail is before I create the content. Mm. So, I, so I definitely know really what I'm focusing on there. Um, and really be yourself you know being authentic is really trying to kind of the main thing like if you're if you're really uh doing what you actually enjoy and what you're really trying to accomplish then you'll you'll get somewhere people can read right through you if you're if you're really like finding it boring i don't really want to do it anymore you know mm. so you know, so really you've got to, you've got to really focus on on that as the main the main thing really the last point i mentioned that mm. yeah. all right Okay, <laughs> so it's just very enriching. So I also learned a lot. So thank you so much, Ben, mm -hmm. for sharing no problem, your, problem. House, your expertise. And yeah, it is. I know it is really an effective marketing strategy, especially for the business owners out there. So I learned a lot yeah. of it, and I hope you guys also learned something as well from um, Ben. So uh, guys, please uh, follow Ben on his social media channels and also his website below. <laughs> For more about video content and also if you want to know more about his business and, and also what he can offer to you guys. So Ben, thank you so much for the time. No problem. It's, it's great. Pleasure it's great to be here. Talking to you. And yes, I'll see you around. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. See you around. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>